David, welcome to St Neats Town TV. Nice to have you along finally. We've got a home game, three points on the board and your first uh, win here at St Neats Town at home. I'm sure the fans went away happy with that late goal. Can't beat that feeling. Um, How did you make the game? Well, I thought when we went 1-0 up, um, I thought we'd win the game. Um, so I was reasonably pleased with how comfortable we were. Um, I thought the first half we had another two or three quite good chances and their keepers made a couple of good saves. But uh, I didn't expect the referee to throw the, the penalty decision in like mm. he did, which evened it up with kind of five minutes of normal time to play. And that always kind of gives the other team a lift. Uh, that gives the team on the receiving end, in this case us, uh, a bit of a kick up the backside. and, and uh, you, you, the reaction could be a bad one. I think the whole ground went a little bit quiet yeah. for a couple of three minutes there. The players, the bench, the fans, um, because you feel hard done by. Which, having seen it, we were very hard done by. Um, having said that, we uh, we tried to go and win the game, and yeah. uh, and fortunately, we got ourselves made ourselves another chance. And I thought it was a really good finish. <laughs> so glad we're not stood here um, with a bit of taste in our mouth thinking about that penalty decision because that, that would have spoiled today completely for the Saints because I think we've done enough to, to get three points today and we, and we certainly um, would do that based on the way we um, just controlled the game in the middle of the park. I thought the midfield work rate was excellent and we really locked it down well, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, they had an extra body in there and uh, we started off... Uh, with with one less than them, which we left for a little while, and um, and they did a good job. But I just felt that we could get them in wide positions a bit, 
Um, I felt uh, that Lewis and, and Ed, who Ed did it very well second half, yeah. could get at the full back a little bit. Um, so we, we changed it a little bit and uh, by that time we were winning the game anyway so as you said it kind of stopped them from playing and at the same time gave us a little bit more possession. Um, but you know, it's, it, football throws things at you sometimes and it would have been easy to, as it would have been last week, it would have been easy to come off and, and say you know the referees cost us and, and had we drawn the game well, I would have been saying that. Yeah. But uh, fortunately we had a good reaction and covered up the ref's mistake. So we're drawing the game and you're thinking, what can I do? You think, oh, Ben Ford, match winner, frame him on. And he, he finished well, to be fair. I've, really I've looked that finish. goal back. It was a really good finish. And he was cool, wasn't no, he? No, uh, it, it wasn't. I, 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 I didn't expect him to go and get a goal. Um, but what I did... You like, listened to that, Ben. He yeah, didn't expect that, you to get a goal. Point, we, we, we changed to a four. Yeah. Um, and um, I knew that he would kind of be a bit narrower because uh, we had one man less. He'd be a bit narrower than Ed. Ed hasn't played consistently over the last few weeks so I knew he'd be running out of energy but what Fordy has got is a great left foot I've mm -hmm. seen that in the first couple of games and I, I just said to him when he went on get the ball slide good quality in for Nathan yeah and if you can get good quality in the box and I kind of knew that given a, a half a yard we might get something by him just throwing the ball in the box I didn't expect it to be him getting on the end of it but um, Again, a good finish, and that's partly all well, that is down to his quality as well. So it was great please. desire to get after the ball as well, because that was drifting out for a goal kick, yeah. and I think it was Nathan that got to the line yeah. there and pulled it back, and Fordy's done the rest, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. And you know, it, it was it was deserved, and in truth, as you said, we probably uh, could have been and should have been two 0 up at least, maybe even another one by yeah. half time, in which case it would have been a lot more comfortable. Um, so, but then that wasn't just because of bad finishing. Um, by any stretch, it was it was a good goalkeeping as well. The goalkeeper's made a couple of really good saves in the first half. Um, and um, at one nil, it's always a little bit tenuous, and uh, that proved to be the case when the referees made that decision. Um, just thinking about how you've started now, David. Um, it's been a couple of weeks. You had to go into the first game at Dunstable with not much knowledge about the squad but you've had a bit of time with the lads now some games and training sessions how are you finding the team there's undoubted quality at the football club um, there's uh, there's good options for f getting goals there's good goal scoring options um, so that's always a threat which is good um, and uh, I think that if we can keep improving but the kind of one of the hard things is to make sure that we don't try and do too much too soon yeah um, because I'm very conscious that if we try and do that we kind of might end up taking one step back before we take two forward and I don't want to take one step back I want to take one step forward at a time bit by bit and keep us keep us progressing um, so there's a lot of things that I want to implement um, but we're not any group, not this group, any group aren't ready to do all that in one go. No. So we just need to keep keep trying to up the bar a little bit every time. Um, keep introducing things that we can do without overstretching ourselves um, and see what happens. Um, because, as I said to the players when I came here, it's not like I'm taking over a club that are fourth, third, bottom. Yeah. You know, when I came here, we were five points off the top. Um, obviously that changed a little bit with the Hereford thing and mm -hmm. stuff but we're not a million miles away from the playoffs and, and we need to just keep tweaking it and keep having those little steps forward and hopefully those little steps will by the time the end of the season come round will be enough to have seen us travelled a reasonable distance and progress quite a bit. Um, just a quick word about the two new players you've brought in. Um, I've seen it for myself today, uh, first time I've seen them, and they've certainly tightened the ship up and um, they look good footballers. What can you tell us about? Well, the, the irony is both Adam and Jack are defenders. Um, they, I, I like to have players that are flexible, particularly at, at non league level, or any level really, because your budget goes further. Yeah. Um, you can play different players in different positions. Uh, you saw today we Drew Roberts played in different positions on actually three different positions today because he's uh, capable of doing it and yeah. that was needed at the time um, of the game and 
and that kind of thing is important because then you don't have to make subs um, and it, it, you can change things and control or try and control what's happening in the game. doesn't always work of course but you can try and have an effect on it. Um, those two are, are the same, they're both very flexible. One's a centre half, one's a left back, but you can see that they've both got qualities that they can play in other positions. I thought Adam Tan in the two games that he's played has been brilliant, um, doing the role he's done. Very simple, kept possession easily, not overcomplicated things, yeah. knows what he can do, just does them things good in the and does them well. Yeah. Wins his headers, it's a good shield. Um, and Jack, I, I actually feel a bit sorry for Jack because you know he, he's come up a level. Um, this time last year he was playing two leagues below. Wow. Uh, he's gone up a level last season, done really well. We're taking him up another level now. And I feel a bit bad that I'm playing him in an alien position, probably the position he's played in least, because kind of when you go up a level, you want it to be comfortable. as comfortable yeah. as you possibly can, because you're already stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, so I feel a bit sorry for him, but at the end of the day, I think Jack would just take wins. And if playing him in there helps us to win a game, then, uh, then he'll take that and all day, and so will I. Yeah, they've both performed well today. I thought Jack was looking at nicking a goal in the first half as well. So the keeper's made a fantastic save, hasn't he, from that from that cross? I mean, that was one of the best moves of the match, I thought. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, Jack's got on the end of it and and got a good contact on it, kept it low, and the keeper's made a really good save. In fairness, and, and at that point, was it nil-nil at that point? I think, I think it, it might have been be, just before yeah. the penalty. Um, but that was a c kind of crucial time because we were on top and turning the screw a little bit then and I felt that if we'd, have, if we'd have got a goal then and then obviously we got the penalty five, ten minutes after it's almost at half time game over Yeah. so um, no time to breathe a long away trip Tuesday night um, one of the joys of playing at this level of football you've got some miles to put in yeah. not easy on a Tuesday night though down to Weymouth no of course um, it's not easy it's uh, not many away games are you could see today not many of the home games are yeah you know I don't expect an easy ride of any of them um, what I'm fairly confident about and I've said this to the players that between now and the end of the season um, we would if we go out we're going to win some games of football but it's what we do in the other games that are tight that are going to be the difference yeah. and uh, today was a tight game last Saturday was a tight game and um, I don't expect anything different on Tuesday. So this Tuesday might be one of them games where, where um, it's about our organisation, our shape, and just digging in and taking what we can. Yeah. And uh, well, Weymouth are going to be looking for a reaction, aren't they? they lost three 0 away at Slough today, I believe. Yeah, and they lost yeah. by four two, I think it was on Tuesday night. So Holden, yeah, you yeah. would you would you would think that they would be looking for a reaction, but then. I'm looking for a reaction from us because I want to get better. Yeah. Don't, you know, I'm not for one minute saying that that's the best we can play today, as it wasn't on Saturday. Um, but I just want to be better. Uh, we're not going to be better every game, but we're still at a point where I think there's things that we can do to make us better every game. Um, whether that's enough, we'll find out on Tuesday. Excellent. All right, David, thanks for talking to us and we'll catch up soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.